So you've got a killer startup idea, and you're quite convinced you're going to clean up with it. But there's a catch. You need cash to make it fly. So what do you do? Seth has a couple of tips for you. Picture yourself at a bar. A beauty catches your eye. You know this hottie might be out of your league, and you've probably got a lot of competition that has a bit more to offer than you do. Well, that's what pitching a startup to an investor is like, trying to bag that incredible date. Well, yeah, you might say you've got what it takes, but just because you know your business inside out doesn't mean that pitching will be a breeze. To woo your investors into bed with you, you've got to know what it is you're getting into. Become the hunter, and the hunter has to do his research. You have to narrow down your investors. Finding out where their previous investments went and where their personal interests lie will get you onto a great note before even meeting. Everyone agrees that your pitch begins with telling a story. Investors listen to pitches day in and day out. It's surely a bore. So just like your attempt at flirting with the babe at the bar, you've got to make your story compelling. There is great opportunity for startups in the tech sector, but at the same time, it's very difficult to break through. It's very difficult to get notice, and it's very difficult to make money out of a concept or a product. So you really have to know what you're doing. You really have to be plugged into the tech economy and to the, into the business economy. Then there's tremendous opportunity. Be sure to bring out what's unique in your product. Does it solve an issue? What common good does it serve? That's the hook. Drafting your business plan with a charitable angle will always earn you some brownie points. This could possibly help pinpoint investors who share in your charitable views. Sometimes on a date, you've got to show off your uh, assets. And your best asset is your team, your human capital. Let them know how dynamite your team is. Investors look at people first and ideas second. Then, spell out your funding needs. The amount of money you need is important. Let them know how much money you need, why you need it, what it will be used for, and the intended outcome. Also let them know how much has already been put into your startup. Back up your numbers by sharing your assumptions. The important thing in looking for funding is in fact to start with a perspective that is global. If you have only a local perspective, you're going to limit your options. And even local investors want to look at the global potential of an idea. The key is to not just have a good idea, but to understand how it can change the market or how it can compete in the market. It doesn't have to be the only one of its kind, if it's the best of its kind or you have the best strategy for taking it to market. Just like a date, there are a few more valid points to keep to. Don't be too aggressive or too desperate. There's a balance to strike. And if you don't appear interested in your investor, then guess what, buddy? You're not getting lucky. One of the best resources for startups is the World Wide Web and in particular search engines like Google and Bing because you simply start searching there for advice, best pra practice, uh, tips, uh, templates for business plans and the like and you start getting a massive library and a wealth of advice on how to start and run a new business and also what are the pitfalls going to be. The short and sweet of startups and taking a new product to market is do as much homework as you can. Not to seem trivial, but a very important aspect is just to have fun. Hey, we just killed two birds with one stone. We gave you dating advice and business advice because that's how we roll and how much we want you to succeed. Now, if you don't mind, I have a meeting to attend.